Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living in return with having. There are monsters in the hood that like to pretend that they're invalid or pretend they can't work or pretend they can't do anything other than be a jerk. You see, many people recognize poverty, but they don't recognize that poverty has its limits. What I mean by that is a person might play somebody with some cash. They might place it with them and saying, hey, have a meal on me. And there is the end of the transaction. There's nothing more to financially see. The person has communicated what they hope that individual will use that cash on. Nine times out of ten, a person of integrity will do just that. Occasionally, you'll have someone who just gives you cash and doesn't tell you what the cash is for. They just donate you the cash because they see you're in struggle and they don't see much at all. They don't say much at all. And when they do that, it's up to you how you choose to make a living for you. In my case, I invite the Lord to advise me on what it is that I need right now for my life and how I'm going to prepare for the upcoming nuptials with my upcoming wife. When a man is in love with a woman, he is very clear on who he loves. He doesn't need to be solicited by other people, by other women, by other men, by other people of different predilections. He is not interested in that. He is faithful, he is true, he is loyal, he is probably red, white, and blue, but we don't tout the American flag as if it's our license plate today. Today I saw a truck with its back license plate actually a police officer's abode. They call it the blue line. That abode says, I am above the law, and I am the law, and I am not beneath the law. Isn't that interesting that many of them tout this blue line, or the firefighters tout their red line for fire, I suppose, the flame, but anyone else who's got a idea about how to lay their life down, how to produce the love of their life, is to blame. When someone is always trying to insinuate that someone else is blaming someone, you just want to look at that person and go, what the fuck planet are you on? I am busy living my life. I am not busy thinking about your little life at all. I am actually living in my life, dealing with my challenges, doing my thing, finding my food, looking for my shelter, finding my ability to serve other people and getting paid for it. I get paid for giving people psychic readings of entertainment. That is true. I receive cash because people are concerned that I am able to eat. That is also true. I provide that cash to my ministry and if there is a person worthier than me or needs it more than me, I might share them with that cash. But as in every business and in, as in every situation, there are expenditures. And expenditures and investments in one's own marketing is sort of important. The people who violate the law always think that they are above the law. They lie, they steal, and they cheat people out of their life goods. And they do this thinking that somehow they are good with God. What a lie they have told themselves. What an incredible, ridiculous lie. When I claim to people that that is the truth, that the liars of the land think they are above reproof, they just don't get it. The truth is no one is above reproof. Everyone has the ability to be reproached and most people don't like to be rebuked. It's amazing how much rebuke Jesus Christ has for America, but what you are getting instead is a time of COVID, a time of pandemic, a time of epidemic, and we're getting that because people have gotten out of sync with God.